In this video, we will practice converting from rational exponent form to radical form, and from radical form to rational exponent form. Looking at the notes below, we have the nth root of a raised to the power of m equals a raised to the power of m divided by n. Notice how the index of the radical is the denominator of the rational exponent, and the exponent on a is the numerator of the rational exponent. For the first three examples, we will convert from rational exponent form to radical form. First we have x raised to the power of three halves. Notice the denominator of the rational exponent is two, which gives us the index of the radical, and the numerator is three, which gives us the exponent on x. So in radical form, we have a radical with an index of two, and then the radicand, or the part under the radical, is x raised to the power of three, or x cubed. Whenever the index is two, this is a square root, and therefore we can leave the index of two off. This is equal to the square root of x to the third. Again, we only leave the index off when the index is two because we have a square root. Next we have b raised to the power of seven ninths. The denominator is nine, which gives us the index of the radical, and the numerator is seven, which is the exponent on the variable b. In radical form, we have the ninth root of b raised to the power of seven. Next we have y to the two-fifths, z to the four-fifths. Notice both the denominators are five, which gives us the index in radical form. And for y, the numerator is two, and for z, the numerator is four, which will give us the exponents on y and z. In radical form, we have the fifth root of y squared, z to the fourth. And now let's look at three examples where we convert from radical form to rational exponent form. First we have the cube root of x squared. Notice the index is three, which gives us the denominator of the rational exponent, and the exponent on x is two, which gives us the numerator of the rational exponent. The cube root of x squared equals x raised to the power of two thirds. Next we have the eleventh root of b to the fifth. Because the index is eleven, the denominator of the rational exponent is eleven, and because the exponent on b is five, five is the numerator. The eleventh root of b to the fifth equals b raised to the power of five elevenths. And then finally we have the sixth root of y to the fourth z squared, because the index is six, six will be the denominator of the rational exponents, and because the exponent on y is four, four will be the numerator of the rational exponent of y, and because z has an exponent of two, two will be the numerator of the rational exponent for z. The sixth root of y to the fourth z squared is equal to y to the four sixths z to the two sixths. But notice here the fractions do simplify, and therefore we should simplify them. Because four sixths is equal to two thirds, and two sixths is equal to one third, we should rewrite this as y to the two-thirds, z to the one-third. I hope you found this helpful.